everyone it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel well I finally finished it this one I had trouble with the cover I am NOT one to I don't know have things like poking out all over I've decided that I am a neat junk journal maker <laughs> is that a contradiction junk neat I don't know anyway I again as you know I do my best to use what I have and I have as you know a lot of upholstery fabric so I used this pretty green upholstery fabric and then I'm not sure where I got the sparkly fabric stuff from but I laid like three layers of it and a while back I had seen someone and it's been a long time so I apologize I don't know who it was but I had seen where they had some fabric and it had like these panels on the roll of fabric. So you could cut it out to make like a focal point and then just some stray lace. And I actually bummed these off of one of my friends at the retreat. And I'm going to flip through here now, but I'm going to talk to you randomly about some other stuff as well. Okay, so here we go. This is another piece of upholstery fabric, kind of the same green but a tighter weave. This is where I printed out some digitals on some old blueprints. You know, I sell the old blueprints in my Etsy shop. And um, so I had taken some and had done this greenery on it. So I'm gonna flip through here. The one thing too about mine, my um, junk journals, are I leave plenty of room for either you to write or for you to embellish. And I say you, but I haven't sold one. I haven't put one out there to try to sell my friends are getting on me about that but I don't know it's just I don't know I guess I want to try to see like a whole shelf full of my journals um, I don't it, it's just a weird thing but anyhow I'm gonna flip through here but I'm gonna talk to you about the retreat that I co-hosted a couple of weeks ago I have to tell you we had a darn blast it is probably the best one yet and I'm always one of those people that when someone says no drama that means there's gonna be drama and this time we just let it flow everybody everybody got along great it was too much fun um, so some of them decided that they wanted to do it again Hadn't planned on it, thought I would wait till, you know, the next first week in August. And, uh, well, I have one planned for March. And so I put it out there in um, one of my Facebook groups. And I put it out there on my personal page. And, of course, I offered it up to the ladies that attended August 1st, because this one's going to be in March. And I sold, do I say sold? I don't know anyway all the spaces for me to do my minimum of 16 people all in one day now I will say I was disappointed a couple of people that I knew changed their minds knocked me back down but then one of them said you know what I had a blast and so she's back in the loop um, and then from there new people have signed up so at this point in time, I am totally sold out. But if you think that it is something that you ever want to do, come to a, a retreat that really is focused on junk journaling. Now you can do any kind of crafts. This last time we had a scrapbooker. We had a lady that makes beautiful junk journals, but this time she played with jewelry. Um, we had a card maker. You know we're pretty easy going I do different spins to mine than anybody else now some people may copy me on um, the word gets out but I put different spins on it all um, so my retreats are the middle of August and then I'm um, excuse me the middle of March and the first week of August so if it's something that you think that you might want to do and it is in northern Alabama so you know the geographic location reach out to me let me know you can comment here or you can find me on my Facebook those are the two that I definitely check the most 
um, or if you want to send me a private message on my Etsy, that's fine too. Um, but if it's something you think you want to do, I have a wait list already. Um, some of them could not attend this time because of the dates did not work for them. It is over St. Patrick's Day um, in 23, but it doesn't mean somewhere down the road. And then I also have a retreat group um, where I do three retreats in Georgia. And they are, for the most part, Central Georgia North. Um, and I, I teamed up with my friend Lori, and we're going to do three retreats a year, February, May, and October. So again, if that's something you're interested in, that group actually started off as scrapbookers. Um, but it has evolved into include people like me, junk journalers, and, you know, some people come and quilt and things like that. So if that's something you want to do, again, reach out to me on my Facebook. I'll be glad to send you the link to that group. Um, like I said, it's in Georgia, but you can come from anywhere. Just some of those areas might be pretty good. One of them is pretty close to Tennessee. One of them is pretty close to the Carolinas. Um, one of them is pretty close to Alabama. So, yeah, you might be interested in that as well. Um, so, like I said, reach out and I'll be glad to chat with you and kind of let you know what, you know, we do. The junk journal, <laughs> I can't talk, the junk journal retreats in Alabama, middle of March and the 1st of August. Like I said, I do different there. So there's things that you need to do to get ready for that. So the sooner you know that you're part of the mix, um, the more time you will have to prepare. But it's fun. I'm telling you, it's fun. Anyhow, with that being said, that was my little flip through of my junk journal. Um, again, not a whole lot of embellishing. More for you to write. More for you to maybe add your own goodies. And uh, I don't know. I'm all about six by nine i guess <laughs> it it is what it is i've done some others but i don't know this is this is really me so i appreciate the time and remember i do my best to try to get a video up every tuesday evening 6 p.m eastern time you can find me on facebook i have a group i have a page i have my own private facebook and then of course like i said i have the um chatting and crafting with Lori and elaine Facebook group. That's the one that's just in Georgia. The other group is private. I only let you in once you have paid your deposit and are going to be attending. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Um, I do have a small um, Etsy shop called Larkin Lane Creations. So I appreciate your time and coming by and listen to me ramble as I show you what I did inside. And I appreciate you very much and I'll catch you down the road. Bye.